Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to see some examples related to orthogonal vectors. Let us take an example in here. In this example, if u is a vector which has components negative 1 over 3 and 2 over 3, and if v is another vector that has components 2, comma, negative 4, we want to determine if these two vectors are perpendicular to one another, one another, parallel to one another, or neither of them, neither perpendicular nor parallel. Let us see. So, as a first step, we're going to check the condition of perpendicularity. And the way to do that is, if the condition is this, isn't it? If u dot v, vector u dot vector v is equal to zero, then the two vectors are perpendicular. If u dot v is not equal to zero, then if it is, uh, we, then we will find what is the angle between them. We will also find if u and v are vectors. Uh, if we want to find the angle between them, the condition we know is as follows, isn't it? Cosine theta. If these are the two vectors we have, if these are the two vectors we have, if this is vector u and if this is vector v. And if this is the measure between these two vectors, cosine theta is given to us as vector u dot vector v divided by the magnitude of vector u times the magnitude of vector v. We want to see how that comes out. Okay? So uh, we will test these two conditions to see where, where, the, where it fits in. Now, first things first, let us see what a, what the dot product of these two vectors is u u dot v the components of u are negative 1 over 3 and comma 2 over 3 dot the components of vector v are 2 comma negative 4 and when we take the dot product of these the way we can expand it out is as follows negative 1 over 3 times 2 plus 2 over 3 times negative 4. When we simplify this some more, we're going to get negative 2 over 3 minus 8 over 3, isn't it? And therefore, the common denominator is 3, negative 2 plus negative 8. Therefore, this is going to be negative 10 over 3. So the dot product of these two vectors did not go to zero. Therefore, these two vectors are not perpendicular to one another. That is one of the, we, we, uh, we clarified that. Therefore, we'll go to the second condition. We want to find what is the, then if, if it is not zero, then what is the angle between them? So we know this, cosine theta, we know this formula. Cosine theta is equal to the product of the dot, uh, the dot, uh, the product of the dot product of those two vectors divided by the magnitudes of magnitude of those vectors, product of the magnitude of those vectors. So the way to write that out is as follows, isn't it? Cosine theta, let me write this as, we'll call this as step two. And then in here, cosine theta is equal to uh, u dot v. The components of vector u are negative um, um, I mean we've already found the product of u dot v which is going to be right here negative 10 over 3 we will write that down here negative 10 divided by 3 and the magnitude of vector u is going to be as follows isn't it this is going to be 1 over 3 negative 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2 plus 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2 under the radical symbol like that times times the second vector the vector v has components 2 and negative 4 2 squared plus negative 4 squared like that therefore when we simplify this this is going to simplify as follows this is going to be negative 10 over 3 divided by 1 
negative one, uh, one over three, the whole thing raised to the power of two is going to be equal to positive one over nine plus two over three raised to the power of two is going to be two squared is four, three squared is nine, like that, under the radical symbol, times two squared is four, and then negative four squared is 16, under the radical symbol like that. When we simplify this, this is going to be negative 10 over 3 divided by square root of the common denominator here is 9, 1 plus 1 plus 4 divided by 9, 1 plus 4 divided by 9, and then here we have square root of 20. We'll simplify this some more, and that's going to be equal to all of this is cosine theta now. Negative 10 over 3 divided by 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 divided by 9, square root of that. And then uh, 20 is, we can write that as 4 times 5 is 20, like that. Therefore, we can simplify this some more and then we can write this one out as follows negative 10 over 3 divided by since we have fives we can we can write this as um, 5 comes out 4 is a perfect square that also comes out and therefore uh, 3 uh, square root of 9 is 3 that comes out and therefore we can write this as we can write all of this as negative 10 divided by 3 divided, divided by 5 times 2 is 10 divided by 3. When we simplify this, this simplifies to negative 1. Therefore, what we see here is cosine theta is equal to negative 1. Therefore, theta is going to be equal to cosine inverse negative 1. And the value of cosine inverse negative 1 is going to be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, when we look, look at what is happening here, if this is the starting point and if this is vector u, and if this is representation of vector v, the angle between these two vectors is 180 degrees. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that these two vectors are parallel to one another. They are parallel to one another. They are not perpendicular, they are parallel to one another. Okay. In my next presentation, we should look at some more examples related to orthogonal vectors.